Hi, in this session, I'm going to show you how to create a waterfall chart. A waterfall chart, according to Wikipedia, is a form of data visualization that helps you determine the cumulative effect of sequentially introducing positive or negative values. So, for example, let's say that we wanted to see how our revenue and net income are related after we take off other expenses something like research and development, R&D, sales and marketing, and general administrative. So this is what a waterfall chart looks like. Essentially, it's basically a stacked column chart, and I'll show you how to create that. Well, the first thing we need to do is look at the how we're going to create this table. Let me go ahead and, and kind of describe what this table is and, and how it affects the chart creation. Really, you only have your values here based on the categories, your amount, we see our revenue. Let's start. We say we start out with ten thousand dollars, minus two thousand dollars for R and D, six thousand for sales and marketing, a thousand for GA, and we have our net income of a thousand dollars. You can see we have a formula here where we have B two, which is revenue, minus the sum of our expenses, B three to B five, right? Well, now we're going to have basically two columns to help us create this chart: an invisible column and a visible column. Basically, the visible column is our amounts. So you can see here we have our cell references pointing back here. This points to B2, this points to B3, etc., etc., etc. Here. The trick here is to create an invisible column. And you can see here we have zero because we're looking at the revenue, which we're starting out with 1,000. We don't really need to create an invisible column here. Now, with the next column here, we have our research and development, which is 8,000 which really in essence is this area here. This is actually a column here. This is a part of the column, of the stacked bar column. What we do is we have to sum up the lower values here, C4 and D4. This makes up 8,000 because what we want to do is we want to see the delta between this 8,000 and the 10,000, which is this 2,000. That is our amount here, which is visible. But we need the 8,000 to support, in a way, support that 2,000. So it gives that view of this floating column once we make that one invisible. So you see what I mean after when I start creating it. So basically, the formula is it's the sum of these two down here. And you can see as I go down to C4, it's going to be the sum of the lower rows. And this one is the sum of the lower rows here, 1,000. So you can see. This is actually 8,000. If I hover over it, you see 8,000 there. This 2,000. If I hover over here, you see 2,000, and etc. For this one part right here, it's going to be 1,000. So let me show you how to create that. I'm just going to copy this table, Control C to copy, bring it off to my other sheet here, Control V to paste. Let me just double click this here to auto fit the cell here. And what I'm going to do here now is just going to insert a column chart. And I'm going to insert a stack column chart. It's going to bring the step column chart here, and now I've got my category, my labels here correct, but I don't need this B column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select data, and this amount column, I'm just going to select that and remove it. So now, I'll go ahead and close this, say OK. Now I've got the two series of values that I want. What I need to do is now just make this invisible, and maybe just do some formatting. So to make this bottom portion of the column visible, I just need to right click and go under, you can look at this shape, shape fill menu, or if you didn't want to right click, there's another way to do it. You can go under, you can just click here and see that it's all selected, and go under format, under shape fill, under the shape styles grouping, you want to create, you want to have no fill. So basically that is our waterfall chart waterfall chart. The rest of it now is just formatting. So we can go ahead and click on the grid lines, delete that, and maybe we want to have the revenue and the net income green for positive value, and the rest we want it red. So I'm just going to, see I've selected one column and it selects everything. If I select one of the columns one more time, one portion of the column one more time, it's just going to have that column. I'm going to go ahead and go into shape fill, and select this red color, this dark red. And I'm going to do the same here. 
shape fill. And once you perform an action here, if you want to repeat the same action, you can actually press the F4 key. If I press F4, it's going to color, it's going to repeat that last action that I had. So that has become all red. So the rest of it is just basically formatting. If I want to get rid of the legend, I click that and press delete. And I've got my waterfall chart. Uh, let's say I wanted to add the data labels. I'd right click that, add data labels. And I want to move them all to the top. So I can just click on that and just click one more time to move that one and move them individually. Click on that and bring it up here. Click here and bring it up here. Let's bring this one up here. Click this one and bring this one up. Now, if I wanted to go and add some 3D effects, basically you can use the option over here under design and under the chart styles. Let's say we give it a 3D effect. I can select this style, and what but what happens here is it's going to change it back to some default colors of that style. Let's say I didn't want that. Let me Control Z to undo that. I can basically just right click it, go into format data series, go into 3D format, and you can play around a little this a little bit, but I like to select the width at 5 and then the height at 2. I'll go ahead and click close and you see that it's giving it a nice 3D effect. And it's giving them all a nice 3D effect. So there is your basic waterfall chart. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos from me, click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and leave a comment below. I'd like to hear from you and hope to see the feedback. Also, do you think others might benefit from this video? If so, click the share text below. YouTube will automatically provide a shortened link to this video and give you options to share on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and other social networking sites. Again, thanks for watching.